Uh, which of the following is uh, not true regarding hormonal basis for the onset of labor? Which of the following is not true regarding hormonal basis for the onset of labor? Just to comment it all, I'm going to discuss it. Are you going to comment it all at all? Are you going to comment it all? Yes, 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 that is the correct answer. Option D, estrogen fall and progesterone rises at time. We have to give you the option. So, estrogen, in the time of pregnancy, we have to deliver the estrogen. We have to give you the high level of estrogen. We have to give you the high level of estrogen. We have to give you the high level of estrogen. Oxytocin release out. Oxytocin release group of hormone. That is oxytocin release out. Oxytocin and then contraction. Number of myometrial contraction are very important. Oxytocin release. Oxytocin release in the prostaglandin release in the prostaglandin release. High level estrogen. Produce oxytocin and oxytocin release prostaglandin that will leads to softening of the cervix. Cervix soft and out, soft and cervix soft and out. High level high level estrogen leads to oxytocin release. Then prostaglandin release in the cervix soft and out. No, also helps development of the baby organs. Baby the organ develop here. No, estrogen. Orang boleh function istrojen function orang dekat tu. Ada mana perlu sedikit kan? Oxytocin, nama kerja myometrial contraction, ada boleh cervix cervix dilation, cervical softening, and cervix dilation ni 10 centimeter beri dilation je yule. Cervix softening of the cervix. And progesterone also, progesterone also full time 32 weeks model le progesterone also will high. 32 to 37 weeks le progesterone also will high. Progesterone also prevent premature labor. Progesterone also prevent premature labor. Okay. अब इधर वाला भी important ना ना बाकी इल्ला द option अल्ला not true इन्दु वाले इन्दु इधर नहीं आना तो next question. Fibroids which arises from uterine surfaces and projects into peritoneal cavities. Option intramural fibroids, subcellular fibroids, submucous fibroids, cervical fibroids. Good evening and see. Yes, Asha, option B, subserous fibroids. What is fibroid? Uterine fibroids is called myoma, or leomyometa. Uterine fibroids is a benign uterine tumor. What is that? Leomyometa. What is that? Myoma. Myoma. This is 25% of the ladies in the world. It is not a benign tumor. This is subserous fibroids under serosa. Under serosa. So, fibroids which arises from the uterine surface and projects into the peritoneal cavity. Peritoneal cavity is projected in subserous fibroids. Intramural is between muscles. Muscles are not in muscles. Between muscles in the middle of the fibroids is intramural. Then submucosa is under mucosa. Submucosa is under mucosa. Okay. 
Next question. Which of the following statement is false regarding retraction ring? Option also known as Bandil's ring forms at the junction of upper and lower uterine segment. Feature of uh, obstructive labor results in hover glass contraction. False. You know, questions to the younger dog. Either you know, aims examinum, either type of questions to the young. Yes, option D is the correct answer. All are correct answer. So, uh, option D results in hourglass contraction. That is not correct. Uh, this uh, bandil's ring and uh, uh, pathological retraction ring. And the one late sign of obstructive labor. So, obstructive labor. Late sign of the obstructive labor. Uh, so, there is an abnormal junction. In a junction. Uh, there is an abnormal junction between two segments of the uterus. But the uterus is a segment of the uterus. So that is uh, Bandil's ring, a uh, pathological retraction ring. That is an abnormal junction between two segments of the uterus. Next question, which of the following structure produce gonadotropins? So, this is important. Now, the question is, I expect to ask you. Yes, option A is the correct answer. Anterior pituitary gland. Now, anterior pituitary gland uh, and gonadotropsin produce in gonadotropsin uh, release in the hormone and luteinizing hormone. That is follicle stimulating hormone. If follicle stimulating hormone men testosterone produce in testosterone. And a female ambo progesterone. So uh, gonadotropin release luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Menil ambo testosterone, female ambo progesterone produce. In the general light, the number of anterior pituitary gland produce in the hormones. Say the kiana adrenocorticotopic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone, gonadotropin release in an apathy and just a follicle stimulating hormone, then uh, uh, growth hormone, melanocyte stimulating hormone. With okay, anterior pituitary gland produce in an posterior pituitary gland angle, link organ and oxytocin and ADH or vasopressin. So ADH or antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin, then oxytocin. This is the hormone that posterior pituitary gland is produced. Now, the other thing is that we have to show you the question. The ethical principle which guides the nurse's responsibility to keep promises is Yes, yes, yes. Option B. Option B is the correct answer. Fidelity. Fidelity means faithfulness. 
being faithful or long.